thought you'd want to know about the upcoming car shows in Saratoga Springs at the State Park. May 16th, Jaguars and imported and all kinds. C-28s, electric cars, trolleys, new cars June 13th, Z cars June 20th, Citroëns June 20th as well, Corvettes, I'm going to be at this one June 27th. Or maybe I'll go to the Muscle Car and Hot Rod Show July 4th, July 11th, Firebird Nation, Saratoga Auto Museum, July 18th, Porsche, Amelon, Art of Ferrari, August 1st through 3rd, August 8th, Hemmings Sports and Exotics, Jaguar E-Type, Vintage Trailer Jam, August 13th through 17th, British Motor Fest, August 23rd. There's one in Stowe also, that time of the year, August, September maybe. German Oktoberfest, October 3rd, Mercedes. And Morgan Mania, October 9th through 11th. I don't know which one you want to go to, but I think I'm going to go to the July 4th Muscle Car Show and the June 27th Corvettes on the Lawn. Take a walk into the museum. It's a brass era celebration in the winter. And there's lots of brass cars. I'll walk through them quickly. 1907 Brush. 1906 Franklin air cooled, just like a Corvair. 1909 Hupmobile. You're wondering how I know that. It's because I'm reading the text while I look at the cars. And 1907 Jewel. That's kind of cute. <laughs> Inspection and registration. No windshield, no windscreen. 1909 Stanley Steamer. Somebody uses it. Wow. 1925 Model T Creator's Popcorn Wagon. And this thing really works. This truck was used forever. Fresh roasted peanuts. This 1925 C. Kretters steam popcorn machine mounted on a Ford Model TT. Chassis was designed, owned, and operated by Albert Rich. Dorothy's father for 41 years. For nearly 35 years, Dorothy carried on that tradition. Today, thanks to the generosity of Bob Bailey, Dennis Dammerman, Louis Golub, John Hedbring, John Klopstock, and Jim Taylor, the Popcorn Lady's legacy will continue to be recognized as an integral part of the history of the region, in particular Cambridge, New York, in loving memory of Dorothy Rich Madison, the Popcorn Lady. She just passed away. And this thing makes popcorn. It really does. Fresh buttered popcorn. A Kretter's Booster. There's a picture of it in action. Many, many years ago. And here it is. The real thing. Popcorn wagon. Drive it to the fair and crank her up. And they really operate this machine. The real thing. Fresh roasted peanuts. It's post World War One, so it's not brass, but it's close enough. This vehicle was built to the specifications of the late Albert Rich of Cambridge, New York. It is mounted on a 1925 Model T Ford truck chassis, TT, and is one of only two in existence. In the same year of its construction, the vehicle was shipped to Cambridge, New York, where it had been selling its wares on the corner of Main Street for 49 years. There it is. Peanuts and popcorn.
This is what one of those front ends would have looked like if it was stock compared to those rods we saw last night. This is the truck chassis though. Amphi car. Cool. These used to be around here. Used to see them once in a great while. Shit, knob is upside down. Oops. Before boating, put bilge plug in. Secure front luggage deck. Use lower locks to seal doors. Don't forget to seal the doors. There's the lower lock right there. And you just drive it into the water. Cool, huh? We're at the Saratoga Auto Museum. All kinds of neat cars here. Back in a minute.